Well, tell me about going up then to Talia's in, in Wisconsin. Well, see, we went, let's see now how. That was, that was in the fall. When fall came, instead of, Faye decided to go up there, and so we just packed up the car and went up there. And uh, that, that was, Mrs. Wright was Russian by birth and family, and she had, if you've ever read Nabokov, that describes what Taliesin was set up on, a feudal thing with the Lord and the Master, and then the different level of workers. And so she had a, she had a lady that just guarded her, her quarters, and uh, so we appeared, and I said to Faye, well, we really need to see Mrs. Wright, because we haven't seen her yet, and I think we should, and he said, well, that's probably right, so we started in to the quarters, and of course, this lady stopped us and said, we told her that we wanted to see Mrs. Wright, and she said, well, uh, you'll have to tell me what it is, and I'll have to ask her, and so Faye told her, that Mr. Wright had told us to come by, and uh, she looked at Faye, and she looked at me, and she looked at little stair step daughters, and she, then she looked me right now, and she said, Mr. Wright is a very reckless man, and you could tell he had not mentioned this to her. So we waited, and she, we went through this, and we, I said, Faye, you know, we're not going to be able to stay. Uh, and, and that was all right with me because I, I had not realized how structured it was. And so uh, Mr. Wright came out and, oh, Faye Jones, you know, well, you did appear. And he said, now, we might not make, be able to make you as comfortable as we can, but we'll work on it. You, he said, then he turned to Davy, who was married to the woman, who was the high, late, high with the women. And Davy was Mr. Wright's right-hand man then. And he said, Davy, uh, make them as comfortable as you can. Give them a room for the Mr. and Mrs. Fry, um, for Faye and for Mary, I, and for the girls. And they didn't like nicknames. And Gus is a bad nickname. <laughs> is a bad, thank you, is a bad nickname. But, and that's why it stuck, because my mother would not call me to the phone for Gus. It had to be Mary Elizabeth. And anyway, she wanted me to be Mary. So she... Uh, we just could see her not only unhappiness, she was irritated with him at taking the choice away from her because, as we found out later, she called all the shots as far as the living was. He, he had all, when it came to architecture, he was the law. When it came to the living, it was her baby. And I'm not being critical. That, that's the way I would have wanted it, too. But they fixed us up with a little makeshift thing and and they had two uh, dining chairs together and a mattress, and my, our little girl slept on it, and by the time morning came, the mattress had fallen in, and she was just in a little crease. And so I said, you know, Faye, I want you to do this. I know you've wanted to do it all your life, but I simply can't do it. And I'm going to go in Madison, and I had some friends there that, well, Faye and I both, that we knew, and I said, I'm going to stay with them till I can find a place. And you stay out here. I'm, I want you to do it. And that's true. I did because I thought, if he doesn't do this, he's going to hold this against me forever. And I can't, I can't do that. And so uh, they said, oh, no. He said, I'm, I'm not going to do it if you're not going to do it. So I thought, well, this is going to be good. So I said, well, I think somebody should let the rights know that we're not going to do it. And he said, well, I'm supposed to grade the roads in the morning. So why don't you go and tell Mr. Wright that we're not going to do it? So I went to the inner sanctum, and I thanked them both. She was there with him, and I said, this is an amazing place. I don't know how you have managed it and the way you're running it, but I said, we clearly don't fit in, and we're not going to be able to. And so I want Faye to stay, but I want to take the little girls into Madison. And Mr. Wright won't listen and paid attention, and then he said, well, we're not going to do that. He said to her, he said, just... Take her down there and, and let her find a place she wants to live. I don't want Faye to go. And so I said, yeah, but, uh, you know, I know it's a workplace that you, 
you're an apprentice. You, you, that's the only way you can come in. You have to be on call on this roster that they put up every every week. And he said, no. He said, Faye's come from a different environment, and he's had a lot of quality work, and I think we need that at Talius. And he said, sometimes we get really heavy on the learn-by-doing thing, and, and it gets pretty well for farming and riding the tractor and gathering the harvest and all that. But And this was no way to start off with her, I knew, and I, because he did, they didn't ordinarily contradict each other. They did that, I'm sure, in private. But anyway, I went back and told Faye, I said, well, he really wants you, and he said I could stay and that you would, that you were doing work enough for both of us. And so when I came back and she came in to tell me goodbye because I, <laughs> last time she saw me I was leaving and I told her exactly what they said and what Mr. Wright said and she said, Mary, I've never known him to do that in his life. That She said when Alden Dow's wife wanted to come he made that clear. Gus, would you now give me some of the highlights of that experience that your family had at Taliesin in Wisconsin? You were there for three months? Yes, we went just before school was out when final started, and then we came back in September. Okay. Uh, they, well, it was, it, it was just so many different things that it's hard to categorize it in one thing. It was being in a totally state of, a total state of flux the whole time because you're not, you're there and you're connected to all these people that uh, influence your life and that you really have no, uh, well never, I'm not, I shouldn't say power because I really never have had any power in my life. I don't, don't know how I'd know to miss it. But, uh, they did uh, the, the, this. Uh, the fellows just moved along, and, and there was a list every first of every week of what your area would be. And you well, Gus. Now this was her work ethic. It was a structured work ethic where everybody who came, had, there were the architectural apprentices, and then everybody connected with it though did. Had a Physical responsibility work every day. Had a responsibility, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's the one that I told you. Mm -hmm. We never had worked with a hoe and hoed a garden, and uh, we would have to get up early and leave the girls in back there and go down to the garden. Always a garden in Wisconsin, because they lived off their produce, what they produced. And, and Faye was so conscientious. I was too, but he was stronger. And we worked in line with a little Buddhist. Ling Po, who had come from China when the, the Boxer Rebellion and his mother, he brought his mother over. And we had taken his mother. We lived at Mr. Wright's in the house there, and we all ate over at Hillside School. And uh, the princes were there, so we, we would go in our car because it was a rough, ruddy road and the little girls couldn't keep up. And Mrs. Ling Po's mother's feet had been bound, and they were just about this big, little clubs is what they were. And she couldn't walk to Hillside, and he was having to bring her food back from Hillside. So we would just say, come go with us. And she appreciated that, you know, so much. It was nothing well, it, to us, but the nice thing to do. So he was very protective of Faye. And uh, after the Faye chopped and... He was chopping the tops off the carrot, which was ruining them. Every time he'd go, because <gasps> he knew he shouldn't be ruining the carrots. And so after about two or three chops, Ling Po said, Faye, you good man. You try. You can knock off top carrot every now and then. You not give damn. <laughs> and so Faye just really relaxed. Sweet little man. And right now he's living someplace in California in a Buddhist monastery but uh, and he was an artist he did his uh, things too and, and just anything Mr. Wright and Mrs. Wright asked him to do but yes we had and, and mine Faye uh, they, in the first thing you do usually is get uh, 
a week in the kitchen, which is murders, because you have to get up very, very early because they have early breakfast. And so Faye got that right away, and I'm sure that was, uh, that it's kind of like hell week, you know? And then <laughs> I kept waiting for mine, and it didn't happen. And I, I just wondered about it, because I thought that's going to be another thing where I'm going to stay so long I'm going to the apartment. But they didn't bother me about it, and this friend that you met who came here, Lou Howe. I asked her about that. I asked Lou about it, and she said, well, Mary, uh, I just couldn't do the early morning cooking for breakfast. And she said, before my, I, before my time came up, I had already let uh, the people in the fellowship, the, you know, there's a tremendous amount of they used to call it scuttlebutt. That's what the Navy called it when uh, gossip that goes around. And she let everybody know that several times in her life she had contemplated suicide. <laughs> and of course, they wouldn't touch her with a 10 foot pole because they didn't want to suicide at Dallas. And so and she just had a lot of respect after that. And that's just the kind of, you know, she, have, she's just. She was a funny, witty, and very practical woman. She I was. Thought. And, and see, now something like that was, I would never have had anybody quite like that in my life without her. And, and we we're still friends, you know, she was just here this year. And there were so many things like that and so much talent. You would, you just can't imagine it all together. And then. Faye was so happy there. He was just truly happy. The Pryor Center for Arkansas Oral and Visual History. The story of Arkansas through the recording of spoken memories and visual records. The Pryor Center. Collect, preserve, and connect.